hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore and design pagination we will see how we can render the pagination how we can set the initial page and how it renders when there are multiple pages and how we can add the page size changer and how we can uh, manipulate that page so the page size is either 1 2 10 we can change it and we can add a uh, page jumper and how we can show uh, the simple version of the pagination and how we can override all of these components like the previous button next button the in the pagination buttons and how we can render uh, the page content based on user selection right so let's get started i have an empty react js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import pagination from and design and use it here so pagination and close it here you go so right now it's showing uh, zero page so that is uh, based on how many records we have uh, right now so if the total records i suppose we can say 10 it should say one page and if the total records are 20 it should say two pages so that is uh, how many pages to show that depends upon the page size so by default the page size is 10 so if suppose we change the page size to 5 for the 20 records it should say that there are four pages four so four pages multiplied by five is equal to 20 records right so let's copy it and try different other props of the pagination so uh, here is we saw that how we can uh, set the, the page size and if you, you want by default suppose the second page uh, is selected so for that there is a prop called default current and we can set it um, maybe 2 here you go so the second page is selected uh, let's add all of these into a space so it looks good uh, to add some padding on the margin between these so suppose size is 8 and set space here and set its uh, direction to vertical here you go looks good now okay so let's try some other pagination props uh, we can say if, if suppose there are total of 200 records so here you see uh, it has added dot 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 and if you are on fourth page at the fifth sixth seventh and adding next pages right and it has also appended this uh, page size changer uh, we can also add uh, this page changer by default to any pagination so suppose we copy this and pagination we can say show size changer and it should so show for even the number of pages are four and we can change it here uh, okay so it is not changing because we have specified the page size here we are overriding and if we do not override and if no so I've changed the page size to 10 for tw 20 records there will be two pages if it is 20 then page size 20 then it will be only one page for 50 it will be one and 100 it will be one we can also uh, change uh, we can also control these numbers as well so let's copy it and let's say page size options and those will be we can say 1 2 10 30 right save it and here you go 1 2 10 and 30 right if it is 1 then 20 pages if it is 2 right 30 here it goes uh, and uh, for changing the pages we either we click on the page number or we can use these buttons to change 
uh, but there is another option we can just uh, write the page number and it should go directly to there so let's try that if we do this total and uh, we can say show quick jumper here you go so if i say go to three it should go to third page go to four and if i so set go to 100 it, it should go to the the maximum the, the maximum number of pages it can so if it's hit enter it will go to the, the maximum uh, page number we have fourth right so we have covered pagination and page size changer and also if we need to uh, capture when uh, the, this size changes there is a prop for that as well so on show size change so it will give us the current page and the size so we can uh, update our state or make epic all based on that so whatever we want to do we can we can do that in in this uh, callback right so there is a uh, one other thing uh, uh, we can show a simplest version of this pagination as well using a simple prop here you go so it will only show the arrows next back and total number of pages and we can write here uh, the page number we want to directly jump to that and also we can uh, override or customize uh, almost all of these things so for that let's copy it and write it here and here if there is a render item render function and what we get here is the page number and also it's the, the type of the element uh, we are going to show so we will be returning here we will be returning our customize uh, uh, customize node elements so we can check if so type is equal to the next i mean this one we can return maybe a tag saying next right and let's copy it and else if type is if type is previous we can maybe we can say previous t and if its type is page right uh yeah page then maybe we can say we are getting the page here and we can turn that here you go the next instead of this arrow the previous instead of this arrow and one two three let's change it to something we can say page number here you go page number one two three four so here we we can return any uh, react component here and it will be populated there right and on change of uh, these page numbers we can even make an api calls and get the response from the server or even we can show different uh, pages based on that so let's try one of these so we can say on change it will give us the page and the page size page and page size and uh, let's render a div here uh, we can say showing content of page hash we will be adding the page here so let's uh, declare a state here to save the current selected page so we can say current page set current page 
use state and bird for maybe it's zero or mm, let's choose second page bird for so current page okay so it will be we are showing showing content of the page this one let's add some styling as well so it looks prominent oh, maybe we can say color is red showing content of page 2 right but right now you see the selected page is not page 2 so for that we will be saying that current is equal to the current page we have uh, in the state right so it's true but right now it's not changing to anything else because uh, on change we are not doing anything so in this we will be changing our current page state to whatever the page we got here right so what we are doing is uh, we are using the pagination prop on change it will give us the page and we will be setting our current uh, we will be set, uh, changing our state based on the page passed and here we will be showing whatever uh, the here we will be uh, showing the page content for that particular page and for this pagination uh, we are also setting the current to whatever user has selected it so let's save it okay showing for page 2 page 3 page 4 page 1 right and we can go from here as well so if it's one showing content for page one right similarly uh, instead of doing this one we can make an api call here uh, to say based on the the page was started and the pagination and uh, we get the response from the server api call and we can render the response anywhere or we can pass that, that response to some other components and do things like that all right so that's it on exploring the pagination from end design if you learn something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you